Friends, today we will talk about the mind of Albert Einstein after his death. Albert Einstein's brain became the subject of scientific curiosity and controversy after his death in 1955. Dr. Thomas Stoltz Harvey, the pathologist who conducted Einstein's autopsy at Princeton Hospital, removed Einstein's brain for scientific study without the permission of Einstein's family. Harvey claimed he did this for research purposes and to understand the neurological basis of Einstein's genius. Harvey took numerous photographs of Einstein's brain from various angles during the autopsy. He also divided the brain into 240 blocks and preserved them in formaldehyde. Removal of Einstein's brain without proper consent raised ethical concerns and sparked controversy. Einstein's family was initially unaware of the removal, and they only learned about it later. Over the years, Harvey conducted various studies on Einstein's brain, hoping to find anatomical differences that might explain his extraordinary cognitive abilities. However, the results were inconclusive, and the scientific community remained skeptical of the validity and significance of these studies. Many neuroscientists and researchers questioned the scientific value of studying Einstein's brain, arguing that his intellectual brilliance was likely a result of the complex interplay of various factors, including genetics, environment, and education, rather than specific anatomical features. Harvey distributed some of the preserved brain sections to other researchers for further study. This led to additional controversies, as some researchers questioned the ethics of disseminating Einstein's brain tissue without the proper consent of his family. In 1998, more than four decades after Einstein's death, Harvey returned the majority of Einstein's brain to the pathologist who conducted the autopsy at Princeton Hospital, but kept some portions. The returned portions were eventually cremated and the ashes scattered. The studies on Einstein's brain remain a subject of debate within the scientific community. While some researchers continue to analyze the preserved slides and photographs, others argue that the ethical concerns and the lack of proper scientific protocols make any conclusions drawn from these studies highly questionable. I hope you have learned something new from this video. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.